So I'm talking to this guy and I was like, oh, what are you up to tonight? And he goes, I'm going on a hinge date. And I was like, oh, and he goes, but text me after. And I'm like, like he likes me. This is what I be telling y'all dudes all the time, fam. Treat a bird like a bird. A lot of women will respect y'all more if y'all treat them exactly like who they are. If y'all just be honest with them. Yo, I'm about to go see this chick, but I could slide on you after. Okay, cool. Fellas, y'all gotta understand that, man. Women have different faces to how they perceive different men. If a chick come across a dude who she thinks, oh, this dude look like he get all the chicks. He a fly dude, he handsome. She will show that man her thought side off rip. She's gonna be open towards him. She probably gonna fuck him on the first night. She's gonna get loose. She's gonna get comfortable and be herself around him because she know she can't fool him. So you better off just being yourself. Like I know who you are. I know you're kind. You can't fool me because I know and whenever a woman come across a dude who she know knows that she for the streets and she ain't got to pretend man she gonna be herself but that same woman if she come across like one of you good men out there she's gonna have a different face for y'all she's gonna put on the good girl image she's gonna make you take her on dates she's gonna make you put in work but fellas keep in mind that same chick is gonna go over to the dude that she likes the first night and get down with the get down that's all i'm saying man so fellas be aware of that man that women be having different faces based on different men that they meet i'm trying to tell y'all because like a lot of y'all dudes based on some of the shit that i be seeing in the comments a lot of y'all men are inexperienced with women because y'all be meeting these chicks be putting on the good girl persona for y'all and y'all don't be seeing that other side to those same chicks and that's sad that makes y'all naive out here be wise out here fellas be wise <laughs> So I was talking to this guy. He was like, how about we go for a run down Kelly Drive? I said, no, thank you. You know, it's summertime. It's bugs and stuff like that. And I, I'm not an outdoors person. You know, I told you that before. Then he was like, how about we go fishing? I, I said, no, thank you. I don't want to go fishing. And he was like, damn, you don't want to do anything. You boring. I was like, well, these things aren't my interest. I told you before, I'm not an outdoors type of person. You're, you're into being outdoors. And I said, I'm not boring. I just don't like what you like. And I've explained it to you before. I've thrown different things out there that I do like. Paint with a twist. Pottery classes. We can go to a cooking class. Things that are indoors is what I'm into. And you want me to be outside. I don't want to be outside doing these things. I said, how about you find someone who's compatible with you? And he was like, no, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. We, we are compatible. No, we aren't. You like how I look. Just say that. But we are not compatible. Fellas, y'all gotta understand when a woman don't like you, she make things difficult, bro. If you trying to link with a chick and you suggest something and she, oh no, I don't do that. Just understand she's not into you. That's all it really is. You ain't gotta try to suggest anything else. And the worst thing you could do is go along with what she suggests. Because now what she's going to do is just use your ass. So now she's going to want you to do the things that she want to do because she's not into you. So it's like, I'm not into this guy. So it's like, I may as well try to get me a free meal or do something that I want to do just to use this guy because pretty much I'm not into him. Fellas, when a woman is into you, anything that you suggest, she's going to go along with. Why? Because she's going to be so happy to be around you. She's going to be so happy that you made the effort to spend time with her. Understand that. That is what a woman want from a man that she's into. It's time and it's attention. So if I suggest something to a chick, to a chick that likes me, bro, she's going to go with whatever I suggest. So if you suggest something to a woman, bro, just understand. Pay attention to the signs. She's not into you and she's going to make your life difficult. Keep away. That's just the bottom line. But the worst thing a man could do is chase behind a woman who's not into him. That's what you all sims be doing. And that's why they treat you all like shit. Sad, man. <laughs> What do you look for in a guy? I have a boyfriend, so I look for my boyfriend. How long, no? A year and a half next week. Do you think it would work with him long distance? We're doing long distance, so yeah. I go to Miami, he lives in New Jersey, that's where I'm from. What's your biggest challenge in a long distance relationship? Trust and communication. Where do the trust issues come up? We have trust, it just took time because it was hard at first. Like going out and like him watching me go out is obviously difficult. Going out with different people drinking, things like that. 
Do you guys ever have like discussions about how you dress when you go out? Occasionally we do have those conversations. Give me an idea of what's discussed. Usually he doesn't love sometimes my choice of outfits occasionally, so he just gets a little annoyed and then we just talk it out and it's fine. Do you end up changing for him? Yeah, if it's um actually not really. Like sometimes, but if I'm already out I can't really change, you know. What's your thought process when he's telling you, hey, I, I don't really like you wearing that? Um, sometimes I get upset if I really like the outfit because I thought it was like super cute and I was excited to wear it. But other times, like I understand from his perspective, you know, that it's obviously difficult to, for him to see me going out. So I understand. The worst thing a man could do is try to hold on to a love that's already gone. Fellas, if your girl is going to Miami, you gotta let her go, fam. No sense trying to make it work. It's not gonna work. She's getting piped down right now in Miami. It's nothing you could do about that. The best thing you could do is let a bird fly. And as a man, you shouldn't have to tell your girl how to dress. If your girl is dressing in a way that you know for a fact, that's so hoes dress who you think your girl is fam the worst thing a man could do is see the truth and ignore it you could see your girl is showing you that she's a bird but you're gonna get mad about it you're gonna get upset so you're gonna talk to her like baby take that off why you put that on she put it on because that's how she feels so as a man never ignore the signs a woman will always show you who she is never do long distance relationships it's not going to work facts from the time your girl go out on the weekends or wherever she go think about how many different dudes gonna be in her face you think she's gonna keep turning down all those dudes for you what about you is so special? What about you is so special that she might meet a dude who is more attractive than you, a dude who have more money than you, and think to herself, hmm, I got a boyfriend back home in Jersey. Let me be faithful to him. No, bro. Your girl is going the first instance. She meet a dude who looks better than you, who's popping more than you. It is what it is, man. But let's be wise out here. <laughs> if you haven't yet go get you some of that merch you all already know don't feed the birds that's what it is we don't feed the birds over here so if you rock with your boy go get you some of that good merch